Hi everyone, thank you so much for stopping by. So I'm going to do a Louis Vuitton Sarah wallet in the monogram review. This is a two year updated review just so if there's anybody who is curious in regards to the condition of it, um, how Louis Vuitton does withstand through um, use and time. If, you're, if you've never owned a Louis Vuitton item, a luxury item, things like that, I think this is really good to help those people, to see, um, to help them make a decision to want to purchase a product from Louis Vuitton or probably a wallet. This is the Sarah wallet and this is in the monogram. Let's see here. This is what it looks like. This is two years old, so this was purchased and I owned this initially in 2016. Um, if you can see, this is already starting to look like flapping wings right here. I don't, I don't like that part. Um, this is not overly stuffed, if you can see that. And this is what it looks inside. Again, it's not overly stuffed, it never is. I don't really put a lot of stuff in there. I might have a little bit of change in here. There we go. Uh, usually I keep my change in um, in my clay, the vernis clay that I have. I forgot the color, so I'm sorry for that. Um, but I every all the videos that are associated with this video should be linked down below. If not, a playlist should be there so you guys can go through them. So it has, the, the reason I bought or I got the Sarah wallet was um, because it has so many pockets. And granted now I'm not filling, oh, so that's what it looks like. There's four in the front. There's six, let's see, there's six in here. And you have a bill slot here and a bill slot here. Um, you have also six slots here. And that is the reason why is because of the card slots. Um, and this is definitely a, to me, lighter and more um, durable to me. Excuse me. If um, through time and use and wear versus the, um, what was that? The zippy. I didn't really like the zippy very much because it was an accord accordion and it just felt kind of tight at the store. Um, the zippy organizer was a little too big for me, so I didn't get that one and that, that's why I decided with this one. I was really also on the fence of the zippy organizer versus this one. And if you can see the back has curled. Yeah, you can see it there. I'm going to do it this way so you can see it better. There you go. You can see that the lip in the back has definitely curled. That is because it's just all canvas. I think if there was um, the kettle leather over here, it probably won't do that. But if you can see, only the interior lining is leather and everything else is canvas. And they also didn't use the kettle leather for this. I think... I can't really think of a wallet that they do that they put my kettle leather in there and it makes sense because you want a wallet to be actually more durable and um, you don't really walk around with just a wallet. A lot of people really do but it's not really common practice for everyday thing. I never do that. I always bring a purse. I see a lot of people with like bags this big and I'm like where do you put all your stuff? I always need to have um, a big enough size. That's why I have my Turin over here, PM. Um, I used to have the Pushemiti and I really didn't like that. So I forgot if I returned that or I sold it. I probably sold it because I had it for a while and it just wasn't for me. And then I also had the Mabilon or the yeah, Mabilon. I had that one too and it was just a little too tight. Um, so anyway, I can definitely see people using this if you're going really quick somewhere, like the, um, doing some groceries. I can definitely see you doing it because you can keep everything in here. You can even um, 
yeah, you can definitely keep everything in here. Cards, a list, coupons if you want. Um, I started doing coupons. I'm not really good with it. I just, I cut it up and I don't use them. It's pretty sad. It's a pretty sad journey. I wanted to, I want... I wanted to go with the coupon um, world and I don't know I guess I'm not very good at that and I really wanted to experience that because you know you see all these shows of the extreme couponing and stuff granted I don't buy the stuff that they buy you know and um, that's probably why they, they save so much money and they're so diligent and know how to coupon I think I'm just not one of those people but i mean it doesn't hurt to save money right it just means i can buy more louis if i want to if there's something that i want i guess um this has been my wallet did i even i don't even remember if i switched to my victorine wallet in 2018. i'm trying to think really hard if i did it wasn't um it wasn't a really long time and I probably used it when I used my Turin PM but I don't remember I really don't remember um, so basically through for a whole year from 2018 2000 I don't know maybe mid maybe late 2017 this is the lot that I've been using every day and it just warps here. The glazing has definitely not fallen apart since the repair. If you don't know about that, I will link those down below as well. Um, I don't see any issues on the corners of the leather lining. I know this can also wear itself through time. And the reason I know that is because I have a really old Louis Vuitton wallet that's a lot older than I am. And the wares are usually like the corners because it rubs on other things like whatever things you have in your bag um, or taking out of the bag and it will get rubbed on the zipper or um, keys. If you just throw your keys in your purse, you don't really put it in a clay. You don't have the key holder. You don't put it in a pocket that can definitely do that. Like some little wear there earlier wear and some damage. Um, if you have some sharp objects, metal objects, hard objects in your bag and just keeps on rubbing here, you can definitely see the tear would be faster. The wallet that I had though, um, was a lot older than me. I think when I got it, I don't know, 40 years old at the time, 30 years old at the time when I got it and... I don't know exactly when I got it. I think it was either high school or college. Um, I don't know, probably high school, I'm not sure. But just so you know, it, it it's so durable. And that one, I had the international wallet and it didn't have a pocket on here on the outside. The inside had, I think, four or six total of the card holders. And I didn't like that. It didn't have a lot of compartments. Um, so that one, that was the reason why I bought the Sarah wallet. Now, if you're on the fence and purchasing a Sarah wallet, would I recommend that? I, st I still really would recommend that. But if it, if this kind of, um, wear and tear, like the curving on the sides will bother you a lot, I would probably suggest you pick something else because of that. But just so you know, all the wallets that do have the envelopes opening style, it will do that. And if you have, if there are wallets from Louis Vuitton as well that is just canvas, it will do this as well. Um, if you don't like this, you don't like this, and you want a lot of cards, I would suggest you get either the multi-cart or um, a clay or the zippy organizer if that's still available. If not, all the other recommendations, I would probably recommend them down on the link the links below um, because this does bother me. This does bother me. I still do recommend the fact that it is a really good wallet. It is, it is beautiful and it is really good. Um, very durable. You know, I've never had an issue in the durability. However, 
this thing right here where it curls that really bugs me way where it curls right here that bugs me too I try not to focus on that and I try not to look at it every time I do use it because if not it will really upset me but other than that I love the functionality of it and usually I don't even yank it from here and um, when I put my wallet in my in my purse it's usually if something is next to it like this it's kind of pushed down and it's still really curled up see that it curls up and on the side so that is just the wear and tear of the canvas so um, if you are purchasing um, a wallet and you don't want it to be like this I would definitely suggest you pick a different design in the opening and it's not the traditional envelope opening maybe a an all-around zip or um, yeah probably an all-around zip would be best because of that so if you guys have any questions or you want to just chit chat about the wallet anything to do with this particular um, item feel free to that down below and don't forget to like my video because that will that's good definitely gonna help um, my standing with YouTube and thank you thank you blah, blah, blah. thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you again next time bye thank you so much for watching my video please uh, hit the like button subscribe button and the bell so you'll be notified whenever I do upload a new video don't forget to expand the description box because as much as possible I always try to get coupons for you guys discount codes and other goodies uh, like that um, I also have my Twitter information Instagram snapchat and for business inquiries I have my email there as well thank you guys and I'll see you again next time bye